Hi everyone, we are currently in my laundry area. I call this laundry area because it's not really a room. And I am going to be cleaning, tidying, and reorganizing this whole space. So when I first moved in here, this was quite neat. I just had a few things uh, on the shelves and it was clean, but been here a few months now and things have just been sort of collecting and it really, really needs um, a little pick me up. So I want to get started by showing you around the room. This is what my laundry area currently looks like. So this, what there was a door here and is actually in the garage. The owner took the door off to open up the space. And so that's where it is now. And I thought about putting it back on, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. Um, I did hang these cute little paper lanterns up there. And so this this house doesn't actually have any closets because it's 127 years old. And a lot of these older homes don't have closets. So this is where the hot water heater is. And then there's my tools and then there's cans of paint up there. Um, and this was all exposed. I put these sheer curtains up. Um a couple of months ago and I actually just used double-sided tape and <laughs> stuck them up there just to kind of hide this and ideally I wish there was doors on these closets ideally I wish there was cupboards here but there's not and I'm a firm believer in working with what you have I'm not about to install cabinets I'm not going to put doors here I'm just going to go with with what I have so here this is the bathroom and here is um, the broom closet. And I put another sheer curtain up there. So the broom closet is a little bit disorganized. I got a whole bunch of stuff up there. And this is kind of what I'm working with here. And so these hooks, let me move back again. These hooks were on the back of this door when I moved in, where the coats are, and I just haven't moved them. And I was actually thinking of putting those hooks on this wall um but then like i'm i'm short so then i would have to like every time i need my coat i would have to like reach up so what i'm actually going to do is i'm just going to reorganize the broom cloud closet and put what i can in the garage and then hang the coats there's a, a hook there so i'm just going to hang we just have a couple winter coats so i'm just going to hang them there this is the shelving. Now, there wasn't as much stuff on here when I moved in, but this is just where stuff got collected. So in there is dish towels and dish, dish cloths. Um, I just kind of collect them in there, and then when they're ready, I throw them in the wash separately than my clothes because they can get kind of stinky. Um, I have um, disposable gloves. That is tissues. Um, in that box is actually some decor and crystals that I really want to get up. I really, really struggle with hanging shelves. I don't know why it's just something that I am not very good at. I keep trying and I'm going to keep trying until I get good at it. So until then, unfortunately, they're sitting in a box. I have, um, this is media for my turtle filters, like some sponge drapes. I got a book there. I got a bunch of cleaning stuff. There's my detergent, other cleaning stuff, rags. It's just, you know, stuff that I need, stuff that I use, but it's all just kind of there on the shelves. So. The goal for this area is to get more uh, storage bins that kind of look like this from a thrift store. I do not want to pay a lot of money for bins. My absolute, absolute top of my budget is $20. I'm not spending any more than that. So I'm going to see what I can do for $20. Here's my dryer. These rod hooks for drapes were up here. And I took the drape down and I put a film, a frosted film on the window instead of having a curtain there because the curtain just kept hitting this sink, which isn't really a sink, it's just actually for wastewater. Anywho, I'm just happier with it this way. And just need to clean that up. I do need to clean my dryer. Yesterday I cleaned my washer. I have a separate video for that. I will link it below. It's an older model, but it's I just cleaned it. It's so fresh, I'm so happy. I just replaced the battery in the smoke detector, so that needs to go back up. And I cleaned this sink yesterday as well. I'll insert a short video on that. Um, it looks, it doesn't look like it's clean, but it is. Um, these are just marks on the sink that I couldn't get rid of. 
Also, there's no faucet in this sink. Ideally, there would be. I would love for there to be a faucet here. I could clean out the, the turtle tanks and such, but there's not. It's just for wastewater, so that's what we're working with there. This is going to go in the garage. This is a step stool that was here when I moved in. I have my own step stool, so I'm just gonna leave that there and use that. Um, some laundry. This needs to go in there. That was just drying. <laughs> and yeah, that's what we're working with. So we're just gonna clean the space. I'm gonna tidy it. I also have these I also have these cute wall decals that I bought at Dollarama. And look how look how pretty this is. So I think I might just put those above there. We'll see. I don't know. I might not even put them in this room. Not really sure yet, but this is what we're working with. And what I'm gonna do first is organize this closet a little bit, and then I am going to move the coats in there. So let's get started. First things first, I'm taking down our winter coats and taking the hooks off the door. They of course left a hole there, but I think the door looks really untidy with the coats hanging from them. And with these hooks being down and the coats not hanging up, the door can open much easier. I struggled a bit with the screwdrivers, but I eventually did find one. That works. Doing anything handy around the home is definitely a challenge for me. So that's something that I would like to work on this year as well. Becoming better at hanging shelves and little projects like this. I could cover those with something I will, but I haven't figured out what I could cover them with yet that it won't look silly. Taking everything out of the closet first, and then I'm going to decide what will go back in and what will go in the garage. I don't really like the idea of my coat sharing a space with the broom closet, but that is what I'm working with for now. Ideally, I would like to get a small armoire for the front entrance where I can hang coats and put shoes. Most of the stuff did not go back into this closet. It, it, is, it is quite empty, except for the top. I haven't organized the top yet. That's for another day. The floor is quite dirty. So I swept it up. There's a few things left. I ended up putting the bit, that blue bag in the back um, in one of my cabinets in the kitchen. I don't think I've actually swept this floor since I've moved in, so. And then I just gave it a good mop after. I'm taking some hangers and just hanging up the coats and I realized that the top or the bottom of this shelf was quite dusty so I gave that a good wipe with my all-purpose cleaner and once the winter is over I'd also like to get some wardrobe storage boxes um, that you can fit under the bed and I will I could put the the heavier winter coats in there Summer is only a few months long anyways, until I decide for an ideal place for them or until I can get that small wardrobe for the front entrance. This fan needs a good dusting as well. I just wiped the bottom of it before putting it back. I'm 
This is all the stuff that came out of the closet, so I'm going to be deciding what stays and what goes. Don't mind the mess on the floor. Got a sponge down there. <laughs> it will all be cleaned up in time. I had this pretty wicker storage container in my bathroom cabinet with different medication in it. And I thought it was just a waste to keep such a nice storage container tucked away. So I just took everything out and put the meds in a drawer and used the storage container for my laundry stuff. Got some dryer balls there. That's my detergent. I have some laundry strips. I don't use those anymore, but those were easy to transport when I had a when I used a shared laundry room. So I used to buy these uh, strips, and then I actually found a generic brand of these strips for much cheaper at Walmart. So I started buying those, but I do have some left over, so I'm just going to use up what I have. This is the wastewater sink before I cleaned it. I haven't actually cleaned this either since I moved in, so it really needed it. And this is the product that I used called Bar Keeper's Friend. It was recommended to me from a friend and it did a great job. I did use a little bit too much though. So note to self next time, don't need to use this much product. Sometimes I just go product happy and use a little more than necessary. <laughs> Just wiping it down with some water and the barkeeper's friend and it is so shiny. So this part of the laundry room makeover is complete. Now I just have to keep up with uh, the maintenance of wiping down the sink. Like I said, I don't use it so it will not get too dirty. I found these storage containers from Walmart. They were two for $12, so I snatched them up. And the reason that I chose this pattern is because the color is neutral and it matches my other gray storage bin. This one's a little bit beat up. As you can see, it's kind of frayed but only on one side. So I decided it was still good to use. I'm just going to put this side that is frayed up against the wall so it doesn't show. And I'm just putting some of the items in the storage bin, the rags, curtains, and some other stuff, tissues. I chose these neutral colors too because this wall is a bright lilac purple and I'm not about to paint this room so I just went with what I thought would look less flashy with the pink color. I love how organized this space is. Oh and I had some pyrite crystals here. That I decided didn't look so nice, so I took them down. And I actually did end up putting up the flower decals above the window. And what's great about this is they cover up the holes in the wall from the curtain rods. I'll link the video below that I made cleaning my washing machine. It's, I made a whole separate video and it was a big job. So it did take a couple of hours, but so worth it as it was getting pretty grimy on the outside and inside the detergent receptacle. There's also some mold growing in there. So I got rid of all of that, cleaned it up. Now it looks and smells very fresh. 
Here's my dryer, and the first thing I want to tackle is the lint holder. I just use a simple cleaning solution of water and vinegar, and I use a small brush I purchased from Amazon. And as I was cleaning it, I realized that these lint holders are not supposed to be gray. I've always used communal washers and dryers before I moved here, so I didn't have the opportunity to clean them. And I decided to keep the audio in the video in the next clip. I was talking to John about how clean it came. Have you ever heard somebody so excited about a clean lint screen? Ladies and gentlemen, it's all about the simple things in life. And I just let this air dry when I was done. I just took my small cleaning brush and cleaned in all the little crevices of the dryer drawer, or sorry, the dryer um, door. And then I did the same with the handle on the outside and the outside of the door. I wanted to clean all around the knobs, so I tried to get as much grime and dirt out of them that I could. And I think they look much better. Let's see another before and after of the lint screen, because we love how clean this came. Before and after. Here is a full tour of my completed laundry room makeover. Everything is clean, tidy, organized. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope that you got some value out of this video. I did make this video because I wanted to show you that you don't need to spend a lot of money, time or energy to fix up, to spruce up a space, just a little bit of energy and you can really really do wonders. I ended up spending uh, just over $20 on the storage bins. Um, two of them from Walmart and the other two from the dollar store in my area. So I went about $2 above budget but that's okay because it's nice and organized. I keep my um, cleaning supplies in the white ones at the bottom. And then just some other stuff in the ones at the top, some storage, like I said, because there is no closets in here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. I post videos on homemaking, budget-friendly meals, frugal and intentional living. My name is Loretta, and thanks again for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.